Hello grade 6, how are you? Today we will continue unit 1, lesson 3 and 4. Okay, let's start with our new words today. Number 1 is stretch. What does it mean of stretch? Stretch is a verb. It means to push out your arm and legs. If again, stretch means to push out your arms and legs. Number two, corridor. Number two, corridor. What is the meaning of corridor? Corridor it means a path between rooms. A path between rooms. Corridor. Number three, chat. What is the meaning of chat? Chat means to talk friendly. To talk friendly. Chat. Number four and number five, footsteps and footprints. Footsteps here is the sound of your feet on the ground. The sound of your feet on the ground. Footprints means the marks of your feet on the ground. Here, footsteps is the sound. Footprints is the marks. Number six and number seven. Number six, beat. Beat is a noun here, regular movement of your heart. And a beat is a verb to make regular a, to make regular sound. Again, beat. Beat. Number eight, empty. Empty, empty means unoccupied, unoccupied, will opposite, fall, empty, fall. Number nine, staff. Staff means a group of people who work together, like English staff, math staff, but staff, a group of people who work together. Okay, number ten, amazement. What's the meaning of amazement? Amazement, when you feel very surprised, when you feel very surprised, amazement, amazement. Number 11, stare. What do you mean stare? Stare means to look for someone or something for a long time. Stare, to look for someone or something for a long time. Number 12, put away. What does the meaning of put away? Put away to put something in its place. Put away to put something in its place. Number 13, head. What do you mean head? Head means, is a verb, means what? To go directly. Head means to go directly. Number Number 14 is chase. What's the meaning of chase? Chase means to run after. Chase means to run after. Number 15, it can mean suggest. Suggest. What's the meaning of suggest? To show an idea. To show, to show an idea. So again, let's read after me. Some stretch, corridor, chat, footsteps, footprints, beat, empty, stop, amazement, stare, put away. Head chase suggest. Okay, now let's start our grammar part present symbol. Okay, what is the usage of the present symbol? We use present uh, symbol okay in four for what four actions of habits for action four habits action four habits or facts or facts or timetable but what is the keyword keyword this is every like every day every month every year every Monday every weekend usually always often sometimes never double what about for the form of the present symbol is verb plus s e s i e s the verb infinitive verb plus s e s i e s mal he we she will it and a and singular Double verb infinitive with they, we, you, and I, and plural. Example, she works in hospital. He washes his car every Friday. Sammy never studies French. They run to the club every day. Okay? What about negative? We make negative of the present symbol with don't and doesn't. With don't and doesn't. Okay, but don't forget after don't and doesn't, we put the verb in infinitive form. Doesn't? With he, she, it, and singular. The what about don't with I, we, you, they, and plural. Like for example, he doesn't like football matches. Or we don't run in the class. The what about question? Question and yes no question and wh question. The yes no questions with do, does, plus a subject plus a verb infinitive. Like for example, do you play tennis? The what about the wh question? We put question word like when, where, Okay, anything of them. Okay, plus do does plus subject plus the verb infinitive. Like where does he work? Okay, this is the present symbol. Now let's 
start our past assemble. Past assemble is show an action happened in the past. Okay, in the past assemble, the action started and finished in the past. So what about keywords? Keywords, yesterday, yesterday, last, ago, in the past, once, once upon a time. Okay, so yesterday, last, last week, last month, last Friday, ago, in the past, once, once upon a time. Okay, what about the four? The four, regular verbs, regular verbs, okay, plus D, E, D, I, E, D, or irregular verbs. Regular verbs like go, went, to drink, drunk, eat, eat. Okay, for example, yesterday I walked to school. We put here to walk ed because there is a yesterday, and yesterday is the keyword of the past symbol. He studied hard last year. We bought a new car last year. Okay, all of them are examples of the past symbol. Negative, we make the negative with didn't plus the verb infinitive, didn't plus the verb infinitive. Okay, she didn't enjoy the game. Okay, but don't forget after didn't we put the verb in infinitive form. Question. Yes, no question. Yes, no questions with did plus a subject plus a verb infinitive. Did plus subject plus a verb infinitive. Did you watch the match? Did you watch the match? Then what about question? WH questions. We put question word plus a did plus a subject plus a verb infinitive. What did he do yesterday? Day. What did he do yesterday? Okay, now let's start. Okay, present continuous. What about present continuous? What is the usage of the present continuous? We talk, we use present continuous to talk about an action that is happening now. We talk about an action that is happening now while we are speaking. So what is the key word? Now look, listen at the moment or at the present. If again, now look, listen at the moment, at the present. So what is the form of the present symbol, uh, present continuous? Present continuous, M is R plus L verb plus ING. Like, look, the birds are flying. Exam another example, he is playing tennis now. So what about negative? M is R plus and not the plus, verb ING plus the verb IM. G, okay, after M is R, we put not, we put not, so simple, okay, he isn't reading the story now, he isn't reading the story now, L question, M, yes, no question, the M, W, H, question, yes, no questions, is or are, plus a subject, plus a verb, I, N, G, okay, is R, plus a subject, plus a verb, what, I, N, G, like, is she writing her homework, is she writing her homework, Okay, now what about WH questions? We put the question word, like what, where, when, uh, how, plus is or are, plus subject, plus the verb ing. What are you doing now? What are you doing now? Okay, now <coughs> let's revise past continuous. Okay, what is the usage of the past continuous? Past continuous, it shows an action that was going on or continuing in the past. Or it happened in a certain time in the past. Happened in a certain time in the past. Okay. Okay, where is Yesterday plus time. That's a perfect time or a certain time. Okay. Yesterday plus time. While as when just as. While as when just as. So what is the form? Form is was or where plus the verb I N G. Was or where plus the verb I N G. But don't forget that we are where revised the rule of while and when. As we said before, I will. that when comes after it, present symbol. As we said, when present symbol, and the second uh, second sentence is present conti uh, past continuous. But again, when past con uh, when past symbol, past continuous. Okay. But like example number one, when comes in the in the middle of the sentence. So we put continuous past continuous, and after when past symbol. Like I was reading when my father came. So what about while? Yes, while after the sentence after while is past continuous. So the second sentence past symbol. Past symbol like while they were watching TV, the light went off. The light went off. Okay. If again when past symbol past continuous while past continuous past symbol. Okay. Number number three, what were you what were you doing at five o'clock 
yesterday. So what about negative? The negative was or where plus and not the plus verb ing. Okay, is that like she wasn't reading yesterday evening? What about the question? As we said before, as we said before, that question, yes, no questions, and WH questions. Yes, no questions, was or where plus a subject plus a verb ing. Was or where plus subject plus a verb ing. Like, was he playing at 3 o'clock? Was he playing at 3 o'clock? Yesterday. Number two, WH questions. We put just the question where the plus was will wear plus subject plus a verb ing. Like, what? Where they doing yesterday morning? Okay, don't forget while past continuous past symbol when past symbol past continuous. Now let's answer some questions. Number one, I spaced my uncle yesterday. I what? Yes, here yesterday. So the answer will be visited. Number two, the factory was built ten years. Ten years what? Yes, ago, 10 years ago. Number three, the sun. The sun what? Me, heat, and light. Yes, gives. The sun gives because it's fact. Okay, that the sun gives us a heat and light. Number four, what is space your father do? What does your father do? Number five, he met his friend this while. Yes, as we said, after a while comes what? Yes, past continuous, was going. Number six, Last night I was what after am I uh, after was or where we put what yes where plus I energy but playing. Number seven, number seven, the children, the children, space and hurt their legs, eh? yes, slept. Okay, number eight, what time space do you uh, do uh, sorry usually? You usually clean the flat. What time? Yes, do. Number nine, at the present moment, all the pupils space quietly, yes, or sitting. Number 10, the space the children were playing, they broke the window. Yes, in Andy, the first sentence is continuous, past continuous, so we will choose why. Okay, now let's answer this rewrite. We write the following sentence. He, uh, sorry, we watched TV and asked you to put all night yesterday. All night yesterday is past continuous. Okay? And we watched TV is a past simple. So the answer will be we were watching oh, uh, TV all the night yesterday. Number two, it rains in the summer in Egypt. We asked you to put not. Yes, it rains. Rains is a verb plus is, so the answer will be it doesn't rain in the summer in Egypt. Number three, she is writing now. We asked you to put not. Yeah, but she isn't writing now. She isn't writing now. Number four, Adil broke his arm while he was running. Yes, this is a sentence. Via a while. I asked you to put when, and when is capital. So the answer will be when, and after when, boss the symbol. Yeah, but when Adil broke his arm, Kama, he was running. Really, he read a story. What? Here, read. He am read. He read a story. Okay. Right here is a past. Okay, not a present. So the answer what will be? What did you do? Number six. He carries a bag every day. He carries a bag every day. I asked you to put yesterday. He carries a bag. The bag every day. This sentence is present simple. Present day. Simple. I asked you to put yesterday, put the symbol. So the answer will be he carried the bag yesterday. Okay, now let's continue our text in your language. Sarah smiled as she went into the school. It was dark and cold inside. Uh, it took what? Uh, as we said, that Sarah went to the school to get a, a can of a, a can of drink to drink it. So, so, it took a moment or uh, or uh, two for her eyes to get used it into the darkness. Sarah walked it into the corridor. It was strange to be in the school in on her own. خلاص كده. Everywhere so was so quiet. In the school, لما the school was what school was what very quiet. Everywhere was so quiet. Her footsteps echoed in the wooden a on the wooden floor. Ah, uh, so till a footsteps that echoed. I'm a repeated sound. She glanced into the empty a 
classroom in the, in the, as she walked along. Just before Sarah got to the classroom, she stopped it and looked it at her painting on the wall. Uh, she was looking at her painting on the wall. She was very proud of it. Uh, she was very happy. She turned it to, into her classroom. But a sudden movement inside the room made her stare. Uh, she stopped in amazement. Uh, standing at Mr. Graham's desk was mean wine. He was looking in it. Uh, she found her friend wine was looking in, in inside the, uh, inside Mr. Graham's desk. Okay, he was looking in it. He didn't look up. He didn't look up. He didn't uh, he didn't see or hear Sarah on uh, at the door. Uh, oh, uh, he didn't see Sarah. When didn't see me, Sarah. What was he doing? Why was he looking in Mr. Graham's desk? Why wasn't he outside? Uh, Sarah started to talk to him to herself and asked her some questions. Why? What he was doing? What was he doing? What was he looking in Mr. Graham's desk? Why? Why wasn't he outside? Okay, Sarah's hair beat fast. She didn't know what to do. Her mind was fast with all with all sorts of the questions and so on. Shall I go in and ask him what he is doing? Shall I go and get Mr. Graham? Shall I pretend I haven't seen anything and go outside again? Then all of a sudden Sarah knew what to do. Ah, uh, Sarah was puzzled. Sarah was puzzled. She didn't know what will she do. Okay? She talked to herself. Shall I go to and ask and ask why and what he is going? What he is doing? Or shall I go and get Mr. Graham and bring Mr. Graham? Okay, shall I pretend? Uh, shall I behave that I can't? I didn't see. I didn't see wine. Okay. She didn't know what did what will she do. Okay. Now, primer six. We have finished our unit unit one. Okay, study it hard and. Study its vocabulary and grammar. Goodbye, grade six. See you soon.